What's up everyone? Welcome back to Sub Machine. I'm Obix and on this episode we are finally continuing the saga and we're moving on to the 6th chapter, The Edge. I'm really excited about this one because on the previous game I thought I was going to the 6th one because I remember in the 5th or 6th things start getting really interesting. It's a bigger game and you go back to previous locations or adjacent to previous locations and you explore a lot of different places. And I'm really curious also about the fact that on the end of the 5th game when we went to the 6th one we kept some items from the inventory, mainly the cipher plates, which is really interesting because the cipher cipher blah, blah. <laughs> sorry, the cipher plates, I believe, are only used on the fifth game. But my memory is not the best; like it's been a while since I played this. I don't know if we're going back to locations on the fifth, and that's why we're going to use the plates as well, or what is the reason behind them? Is there some new machine? I, I'm interested about this connection. Also, I really appreciate the the little details that Matt is introducing with the connection between the games. Because in the beginning I thought, okay, it's just gonna flow the games from one to the other. But that's it, the games are gonna stay the same. There's some improvements in the quality, some puzzles were tweaked, but everything will stay basically the same. And I really like that you had to finish the fifth game and then go back to find the secret. When I, you finish the fifth game, the banner leaves and on its place you find a, a little drawer with a key that opens that emergency door with one of those plates that you have to hover over. I suppose it's part of a secret. So it's really interesting. The games are not just connected in a flow, but every game is separate from the others. No. Now we have a game that you have to go back to, to access something new. And you also have another game that keeps the inventory from the previous one, at least part of it. Which is really interesting. I'm I'm interested and very curious about what is going to happen from here on. Because I know from this game it will be more... Like this game is going to be bigger. It's going to be more to explore. So the addition of keeping the inventory makes it even more interesting to me. So there's no need to mumble more about this. Let's just get into action. Let's see how this goes. Oh, wait. I was supposed to have a lamp. Wait, 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 wait. I remember I got to this game and I had a lamp. So let me see if I can keep it. <coughs> ah, fuck. Why don't I have the lamp? You motherfucker. Fuck. I don't want to start the new game and then have to... Like, I don't want to miss something because I didn't carry the lamp over. I remember, I finished the game and I had four items on my inventory. The lamp was one of them, or the coil was one of them. <sighs> Do I have to redo this game? Okay, I had to hit record as soon as I restarted the game, because I knew... When I was playing this game, I knew that on one of these places, there was some ledge that I could go to. I tried to press everything when I played, and for some reason, I missed it. But I knew there was a ledge somewhere. And here we have it. With another fucking micro -stabilizer. I knew I missed something. There's also this. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know if this is also some secret. Do I have to cut this or... I have no idea. But yeah. Um, that's also something that I couldn't get anything out of. I have the idea that you used to either insert something here or... Or maybe there was a secret there. I have no idea. For the record, I've already sped run this game like three times. Because I I wanted to get to the ending cinematic and get the right screenshot for the thumbnail. I end up having to take the screenshot out of a video online because I kept messing it up. But yeah, the fact that I'm doing it again is just wild. <laughs> I was so... Like, I, I thought I was just going to get into the new game. But no, I'm speedrunning this again. At least I'm glad that I got um, another secret that I missed. So I restarted the whole game for nothing. I was convinced I had the coil and I didn't. I'm a fucking dumbass, ain't I? 
All right, now that I figured out how stupid I am, shall we fucking continue the game? I'm tired of repeating the same one. I've I've repeated the fifth one like four times. It's insane. Let's just go for the edge. Let's continue. The whole way that this works is so weird. The fact that we had to switch between cubes to go to a different area or device or whatever. I'm gonna put the items here, ain't I? Oh, motherfucker, dude. I really thought I was going to use them here. Motherfucker. Matt, why did you give me hopes like this? Fuck. I'm pissed. <laughs> I thought I was going to use the wrench at least. Come on. That's annoying. Says more numbers than what I than what I expect. I believe I'm just supposed to try something. Yeah, and it's gonna give an error exactly. Holy shit! Oh shit! He left. Wait, I didn't remember that. Um. Why is there a transporter filled with blood? What happened here? Here. Well, that's it. I see no point in holding on any longer. No one's coming. I've been a fool all this time. Pointless. Did someone kill themselves? Although I'm very excited to explore some sewers. Let me see what's around here first, okay? There it is again! Holy shit! I remembered... I knew that... I had the memory that you could see above here. In this corner. But now you have this fucker here. What the hell is wrong with those things? What is it? What are those? What are those? I have nowhere else to go. Did he tell you that you were the first one sent out here? Well, news flash, my friend. Of course I was not. Alright. E. Do not mess with protocols. If you do, they will lock you inside. I've seen that happen before. That's not a good way to die out here. Anyway, I've had enough. I'm not going in there anymore. Shit. Someone was homeless out here. I didn't remember this bad. Oh, I like this. I don't think that it had this little touch of showing the lights before. That's cool. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a little touch that gives more guidance. If they were there before, I just don't remember. That's the case. My bad. Right. Oh, shit. What is this? Shit. Don't believe in his lies. Interesting. So now I can go there. Okay, that's cool. 
Thought? 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 How do you say this? Thought? Bet you thought? Is that how you say it? Alright. So now we're in a place with the Egyptian inscriptions. This is wild because we have modern architecture, these pipes, and then you have these ancient inscriptions. That's interesting. And I just turned something wrong. Oh, I remember this. It either ages or it looks... Yeah. Ah, that's cool. I remember this. I gotta put something there and then send it back in time or something. It's really cool. I really like all the different mechanics that this game has. The fact that you have a room that can go back and forth in time. It's wild. Alright, so I gotta find like... I think it's a box that you put there and then you age it. And it, um... You, you get what's inside, basically. Alright, no secrets so far. So, this one. I see. I see. Okay. Right, I remember this place. Hmm. Oh, this is the... Okay, wait, let me take a screenshot. This is... The code that I should have inserted in the beginning. I believe. Why did they build this thing and... Put the code here for everyone to see? I have no idea, but... You do you. Let's see. Wait. Let me just check this side first. Fifty four five. Are those coordinates? Oh, this is a lift. I see. Here we go again with those circles. Hmm. I remember I have to find some sort of, I don't know, spear or whatever it is to insert here. There we have it, the cube. Open the cube, enter the personal identification. Isn't this it? I feel like if I restart the game and I go back to the beginning area and insert this code, I'll find something. But I'll try it out in the end. What is it called? Connection path. 
okay. What did it? Maintain a security door. Five. Okay. So I unlock the door on the lower level. Personal identification number not present. I feel like I got the game wrong again. I feel like I got in I got into the fifth game thinking, okay, this is gonna be that bigger one that goes back to a lot of locations. It didn't happen. I got to the sixth one with the same feeling, it didn't happen yet. Do I keep messing up the games in my head? Is it the next one? I have no fucking idea. Maybe I was thinking about the fourth when you jump to those little locations that are adjacent to the previous games. And I thought one of the next games was going to do that, but on a bigger scale. We'll see. I see. This is what I needed. I needed to reset and stop me the reset. So it doesn't give an error. Now I can go up there. Yeah, there we go. I see. Oh. What is this? Wait, isn't this the the room that I found on the first game? With one of the plates. 
Oh, okay. Things are starting to make more sense. This is the place of the digouts inside the lighthouse. There is that opening on the wall. It does seem like there could be a portal there. Interesting. This is the place in uh, the fourth game. The one that I unlocked with the micro stabilizers. Okay, so all those places that seem that there was it was possible to have a portal. They did have a portal before or something. That's interesting. This place I'm not recognizing. Yeah, this is new places. This is in the further games. Oh, that's interesting though. So this is like a, a log with all the portals, or many portals from different games. That's interesting. Including this area, like I've seen, this is like the art of the game. I believe it's supposed to be an important place. That's interesting. Human recognition better. to disable the defense systems. Now we can travel freely through the net. We can finally invade the core. Fuck, I didn't read the rest. Unfortunately for you, this is the end, something like that. Oh. Oh, I like this touch. Holy shit. This looks awesome. This is new. This totally feels like I shouldn't be here anymore. Damn. Oh, and there's a macro satellite. Great. Oh, wow. Interesting. Can we just talk about the logic that we can climb up pipes? I just want to throw that out there. Apparently we are some sort of lizard human. these sort of cameras everywhere what is this what is this what's gonna happen now chapter 6 completed this was not the game either I keep messing it up I think one of these games is gonna be huge and it isn't what game is it then Four. okay can I go back to the beginning of the 6 and insert that code though? Oh, now I have the coil. What the fuck? I was not mistaken. I knew that I would come here with a fucking coil. What the fuck is wrong with this game? I, I, I restarted the fucking game because of the coil. I didn't get it. Then I restart again and I get it. Okay. Amazing. Let me just... What the fuck, but I was inserting the right code. Ah. Okay, so there was nothing I could do apparently. This sucks. 
Well, with this, my dudes, that's it for this game. Um, and that's it for this, yeah, this episode as well. It's going to be a short one as well. It's a pretty quick one. Not much to talk about, not much to do. This one, I, I don't want to... I don't want to start the next episode saying the same bullshit, but since this one has grass, I feel like this might be one of those that you jump back to other locations. But I don't want to get my hopes up, because I no longer know which games do that and which don't. I really thought the 5th or 6th was going to be one of those big games that you jump around a lot of places. Maybe I was just thinking about the 4th, but since it was so long ago, I thought it was bigger than it actually is. But yeah, I know that soon, one game is going to do that even more. And I have no idea which one. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.